Hey guys, so we've had a couple of uh, customers and a couple of people on our Facebook ask us about the new infotainment system. So I'm gonna do a quick little video on some of the changes. The first thing I'm gonna do is show the time in which it takes both systems to start up. 2018 they used the GTS 6.0, and in 2019, they use a GTS 6.5, so it's an upgraded processor. I'm gonna leave the sound of the ignition click in the beginning to show that I clicked them at the same time. And then I'm gonna kill the volume because there's a lot of background noise. I shot this in the showroom. Twenty-three seconds versus thirteen seconds. The left side was not paused or altered in any way, and both are new showroom bikes. These are going to be your home screens, which are kind of weird because it's kind of like going from a Windows 98 to a Mac 4K 3D processor. You've got mail. The rubber buttons, which are highlighted here, are now completely gone. On the right side, it's all a touchscreen, and the layout is a lot simpler on the right side. You got your three most important things: music, nav, and phone. And then below that, you have your favorites, CB radio, and settings. In the new system, the navigation is all touch responsive. So you move around your finger to see the area surrounding you. You can pinch your fingers to zoom in and out. And then you can click on a random place, hit the arrow in the top right. It'll give you the address and press route. and then press go and it'll give you the closest route to where you've pushed as opposed to the old system which gave you a four-way directional compass pointed to whichever way you wanted to go and a very laggy plus and minus to zoom in and out the music button will lead you to your FM radio where you have all your favorite presets for your FM radio if you have a smartphone, you can sync it to the system. In this case, our parts guy, Lindsay, must have synced his iPhone X. So we're gonna try to make a call. There is also a keypad that you can type as if you were typing on your phone. Syncing your smartphone is more or less the same. Head on to your settings button and scroll down until you, where you get to Bluetooth setup. List paired devices, add new device, and pair your phone. I'm going to cancel that because I don't know what that is. This is your info homepage. In the middle you have your miles per hour if you were to be moving. The time, the time of your trip, and the miles of your trip. They also give you your elevation and, and temperature. And I think the elevation has to be calibrated correctly because, um, well, it's rising and we are not that high above the sea. Click over to your engine info and you can see if you need to check oil. And the trip summary is gonna clock all the stats of your last trip. Three very cool features. The point of this video was not to put down the previous system. After all, you are on a motorcycle. I don't know how much technology you actually need. It was nice just to have a little GPS. Both systems are good. The new one just runs a little faster. That's all I got for you guys today. I'll see you next time. You've got mail.